What's up YouTube? Have you ever wondered about the erase brush tool in Affinity Photo on the iPad? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben Nielsen. I'm a media design educator, and today we're talking all about the erase brush in Affinity Photo on the iPad. This is part of our ongoing series, all about all of the tools in Affinity Photo on the iPad. So if you're interested in learning more about Affinity Photo, make sure that you check out this playlist. So let's dive in and see how this works on the iPad. All right, so here in Affinity Photo, we're going to go ahead and go to the eighth tool down, which looks like a pencil, but you can see that the blue highlighted part is the eraser. So that lets you know that it is the eraser tool. So go ahead and click on that. And you can see it's called the erase brush tool. And that is because this, like a lot of the other tools that we've been looking at recently, and many of the tools in a program like Affinity Photo are brush tools, which means they use the brush engine to work. So you're going to notice that the toolbar down at the bottom looks very, very similar to some of the other tools that we've been looking at recently. We have things like width, opacity, flow, hardness, the more brush menu, force pressure. If we go on, we're going to have the stabilizer options and the symmetry options. So all of these are exactly the same as they've been in every other brush tool that we've looked at pretty much. And so here, we're not really going to go into those because we've covered them a lot, but we're just going to show what the erase brush tool does, which is probably exactly what you're thinking it's going to do. It erases part of the image. So if you look in my layer studio over here, you're going to see that I have the picture of the van on top and then the lighthouse picture behind. So if I want to have the van in the lighthouse picture, I can just go ahead and erase around it. So just select that photo that you want to erase and then go ahead and erase. And as I erase that, you can see the other picture coming in here. So that's what the erase brush does. Now, I don't love that, of course, because that is a destructive edit. It has actually erased those pixels. So I'm gonna undo that with a two finger tap. And I'm going to show you what else you can do. Obviously, when we want to remove something, we want to use a mask because masking is non-destructive. So let's go ahead and add a mask to this. I'll just hit the plus button in the layer studio and choose to mask the layer. Now I have this mask. So if I twirl this down to open it, make sure my mask is selected. And now using my erase brush tool, I can erase on the mask. And look what happens to my mask. It turns black. When you brush with the eraser brush on a mask, it actually lays down black ink to erase because that's what black ink does. So that's a lot more useful than just doing it on the layer itself because if I erase part of this van, say, I can then switch to my brush tool, make sure that I'm painting in white from my color studio, and then I can bring it back. But that brings us to the next point, which is, is the eraser tool actually useful? It's really most useful when going on a mask so that it's non-destructive. And in that case, we could just switch our brush color to black. We could just stay on our brush and we could erase with that. So I don't know that the erase tool actually has a super useful dedicated purpose, making it different than just using the brush tool, unless it just helps you to kind of conceptualize it because you're used to working with an eraser and a pencil or something like that. And then maybe it's useful to you to just be able to use the erase tool to remove things. All right, thank you so much for watching this video about the erase brush tool and a fitting photo on the iPad. I would love to hear from you in the comments if you think this tool is useful or if you're just going to use masks when you want to erase something from a picture. So jump in the comments and let me know that. We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.